Next is a Charisma Import. Uh, Polygram. Uh, this is Spanish. Um, and it's uh, Genesis Rock Theater. Then we move into Genesis, A Trick of the Tale. First LP without Peter Gabriel. Phenomenal record. And this is Atco. Next is A Trick of the Tale again. This is my original master recording. Next up on AFCO, this is Wind in the Weathering, and this is what we're listening to now. Another great LP. And then I have another copy of Wind in the Weathering. And the reason I have two is these are two separate pressings. You can kind of see in the color of them there as well. But the uh, pressing numbers down here, if you look right here, these are, uh, whoop, there we go different numbers here. And then next up, songs that were originally intended for Wind in the Wuthering but were left off and then later released as Spot the Pigeon. And this is the black vinyl edition. And then and these are these were only printed in Canada, I do believe. And then this is the blue vinyl edition. Excellent, excellent songs on this. And then next up, not a big favorite among the fans. I, however, love this album. I really, really do. I didn't at first, but now I really, really love this album. And it's, and then there were three. And this is Atlantic. Their best live album, in my opinion. Seconds out. And this is Atlantic. And then three sides live, which three sides are live and one side is studio. For those that don't know, another great album. I still prefer Seconds Out myself. And then to my buddy Derek, I'm with you, buddy. I love Duke. Phenomenal album. Yes, you do feel Phil's pain in this album. Then another album that to the fans is not a big favorite, but uh, it is one of mine, and that's Avocab. The album that was released with four different covers, I have two. 
I don't have all four. I can never seem to find the blue and the yellow one in good shape. And then the very popular self-titled Genesis LP. This is a standard domestic. And I've shown this one before. This is a um, Vertigo pressing, same album. I found this in a dollar bin, if you can believe that. Spaceship Vertigo there. Here's a 12-inch uh, promotional copy, I believe it's promotional, yes, promotional, of uh, uh, That's All, oh no, No Reply at All. And the B-side is that No Reply at All. Yeah, the promos usually have the same song on both sides. I have the Genesis stamp here. Invisible Touch, very, very popular record in the 80s. And a 12 inch for Land of Confusion. Be sided with uh, Feeding the Fire. Here's a rare import. Um, I was talking earlier about how from Genesis to Revelation uh, they used uh, or re reissued a lot of those tracks on other albums. Uh, here's one. This is, I believe, a Ger yeah, made in Germany. Germany import of uh, Genesis, The Silent Sun. A little tougher LP to run across. Beautiful copy. the red DECA label. Now we get into some of the really rare stuff. I'm a big fan uh, of bootlegs because back in the day when vinyl was, you know, the king of media, uh, bootlegs were really, really hard to find and there were, you know, they were like the big Shh, it's a legal thing. Um, but to me, they're so important because they capture a rare moment in history for the band. Um, and so the first one I have, 1975. A dual LP, Genesis in Concert. This is on Gold Records. Uh, this is 1975. 2LP set. Another 2LP set. Uh, Pamela is watching you. Uh, this is a single. This was... Oh, I can't remember when this was recorded. Shoot. Genesis Live. There's another uh, dual LP. This one's pretty rare. Um, this is... Uh, from the uh, Lamb tour, which if you noticed, I didn't show the Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. I don't have that on vinyl. I lent it out two, two and a half years ago to a friend of mine, never got it back, and he moved off. So I've been trying to replace it. I can never seem to find a really nice copy of it. So I, 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 I do have the 180 gram reissue, but I don't have a original copy. So. I've been trying to replace it. But anyway, from the Lamb, uh, Lamb Lies Down on Broadway tour, this is a two LP set, Swelled and Spent. And 
This is just phenomenal. Here's another really rare one. This is a limited edition numbered uh, copy. This is number 380 out of 500. This is uh, Genesis a Perilous Schizophrenia. You can see it on here. Another 2LP set, and this one's a little rough. This is 1973. The cover's a little rough on this one, but it's very, very rare. Um, and this is A Death in Any Town, recorded live at the Felt Forum. Let me get the whole thing in the shot there. There we go. And then, of course, I've shown this before, the 180 gram reissue box set, 70 to 75, which has uh, Trespass through uh, um, Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. And this is an absolute incredible must own for any Genesis fan. Okay, moving into the family. Peter Gabriel. Melt or Melt Face. Same album in German. Sung in German. Uh, two copies of Security that it's been called Peter Gabriel for. Uh, promotional copy, 12 inch of Walk Through the Fire, Peter Gabriel. Two copies of So. And all the numbers are the same, but for some reason, they're two different colors. I don't know if you can see that. One's gray and one's purple. The score for Birdie. Scratch my back. And this is just insanely incredible. I don't have uh, Peter Gabriel Plays Live on vinyl. That's another one that I need to find. Okay, Phil Collins. Good old face value. Such an incredible album. Promotional copy. Hello, I must be going. No jacket required. His big multi platinum LP. And then I don't have any Tony Banks on vinyl, but I do have, um, this is uh, Please Don't Touch, some Steve Hackett. And this is great. I love Steve Hackett's solo work. And my favorite, and this is an import copy of Voyage of the Alkalite.
love that inner art. This album is so, so good. Uh, belongs in every single prog collection that exists, in my opinion. Charisma. Monster, monster record. And actually, so is this, Defector. Then a little Mike Rutherford, uh, Small Creeps Day. And this is a uh, Passport. It's on the Passport label. And then my last piece, and this is sealed because I have the CD. It's not one of my favorite albums by any means. Uh, so I haven't opened it, um, but I've always kept it. And it's... Uh, Mike and the Mechanics. Mike brought the fruit. And that's it. That wraps up my Genesis vinyl collection. So thank you all for sticking through and sharing it with me. Uh, any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, you know drop me a comment, drop me a PM. Uh, please leave comments. Um, I know I have some fellow uh, 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 Genesis brothers out there, uh, Derek, uh, aka Derek Vaughn, Jeff, aka Jeff Recordman 1958, Rob Yellowbox, and I'm sure there's many others. Um, so please uh, drop some comments. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my subscribers. Uh, uh, thanks for sticking out through this little bit longer video. Uh, but as you can see, there was a lot to shell, uh, share. So. Um, one of my absolute favorite bands without a doubt and uh, like I said one of my most uh, extensive collections in my collection as well so um, I think I might do another one uh, before too long uh, showing my yes final collection there's some really cool stuff in that so <clears throat> thanks for watching uh, um, I'll see you all on the tube and as always stay in the groove peace